You've heard us hype up the total solar eclipse for a while now. It's because it's a really big deal. We're living around the path of totality while an estimated million and a half people are coming into Arkansas just to see this phenomenon for a few minutes. Five News anchor Alexandra Burnley chatted with the NASA astrophysicist who was sharing a few things that you might not know about this special moment. A total solar eclipse happens every year and a half to three years, but there's a reason why you don't see them more often. Because Earth is mostly covered by water, most of the time that shadow falls in the oceans, and so we don't have an opportunity to see it. And that's why this event is so special, because the path of totality is cutting through Arkansas. Sure, if you miss it, there's another one happening in 2044, but that path of totality will be completely different. Here's a look at the path from 2017. It went from the West Coast to the East Coast. But with the way the path is lining up this year, the numbers of people who could possibly see this eclipse will be three times as many as in 2017. While many humans will be looking up at the sky, other creatures are going to be a little confused or even a little mad about what's going on, which is what some researchers noticed while studying them. The bees, they were very upset. They had all been out looking for pollen. They all came back to the hive. And then after the eclipse ended, it took them quite a while before they flew out again. So as you look up in the sky in the middle of the afternoon to watch this celestial phenomenon, awe-inspired and speechless, you can also count your blessings that you weren't alive when this happened many generations ago, probably freaking people out a bit. And suddenly in the middle of the day, it gets dark. Once you experience a total solar eclipse, you really understand why people would have been frightened. And as with most things in the 21st century, technology has made it much easier to pinpoint the best spots in America to watch the total solar eclipse. It wasn't so long ago, like in the early 2000s, when there were books that were printed and you had to look at the map and interpolate positions on the map in order to find your specific location. 